still tracking that major winter storm, the center of it over the Dakotas. It's going to throw severe weather, including tornadoes today, a dramatic day across the south and the southeastern U.S. Let's get to the latest in today's daily shower. So let's get to the latest in today's daily shower. That same storm, heavy snowfall, risk of tornadoes, lots of rain, and then a big temperature impact as we look into next week. And I'll have a look at who may see a white Christmas coming up in today's daily shower. A quick moment. Thank you for liking, subscribing, commenting. If you haven't done so, please do. That's great feedback. Let's me know these videos are of value. Appreciate it. As the most threatening weather area is over the southeast, let's begin there in this daily shower. So potential areas of damaging thunderstorms Wednesday into Thursday first off, including the risk of tornadoes is right down here down to the deep south. So let's fly that map in. The highest risk area is this red area, and it's centered right around Hattiesburg, but it goes from about New Orleans almost up to Tuscaloosa. Areas close by, Jackson, Selma, Pensacola, these areas surrounding it still have a risk of severe weather, but that threat area starts to diminish around it. As far as this area and the surroundings, tornadoes possible, if not likely, later today into tonight. What about tomorrow? So Thursday into Thursday night and Friday morning, that area shifts off to the east. We're more over Florida and Georgia at this point. The area of risk here is not quite as broad and the threat level is lower for tomorrow, but not to take away from the severity of strong thunderstorms to be mindful of. This will include Sarasota, St. Pete and Tampa, Orlando, Ocala, Kissimmee, on up toward Jacksonville, Valdosta, Douglas, Brunswick, Savannah, on up toward Charleston and close to Myrtle Beach for tomorrow. Again, that's the risk of damaging thunderstorms. And these storms are carrying lots of water. This is total precip. We'll come into this area in a moment. That's going to be snow, but let's focus down here on the gauge. Anytime you get into the blues, purples, and darker reds, you're moving from one inch into the two to two and a half inch category. So, so looking down here to the south, same areas where we profiled the severe weather risk, but Tuscaloosa, Meridian, Huntsville, up toward Oak Ridge, Kingsport, Winston-Salem, Spartanburg, all of those, including Atlanta too, there's a swath in here of some of the purple colorations. That's approaching two inches of total rainfall from the thunderstorms that'll be moving on through. Then you go up higher along the coast, and over the next couple of days, we're seeing those rain showers spreading up, up to the north. So Annapolis, and Washington, D.C., Fredericksburg, Atlantic City, Trenton, we have State College, Williamsport. These areas still may climb into the one and a half to two inch range for total water on the way. Once you move to the north, though, then we're starting to talk about snowfall totals Total water being an inch and a half, maybe two on the extreme cases, but let's talk about snowfall totals now. We'll focus on the northern plains, upper Midwest, and then shift into New England for a moment. But we still have lingering snowfall in the Dakotas. That's still going to tally up four to eight inches in a lot of cases. Upper Midwest, throughout much of Minnesota, looking at some snowfall, several inches still possible. There's a bullseye in here, so let's fly the map in a little bit closer and looking at far northern upper midwest here so here's international falls and then we have superior and just north of superior right along the lake we're going to be seeing anywhere upwards of 18 to 24 inches of snowfall right in that small isolated area but heavy snowfall stretches from superior out toward uh, close to green bay as Escanaba, here's Marquette. within that range right in through there we're looking at totals of 12 inches possibly on the higher end. So a lot of snowfall there for the upper Midwest and the Northern Plains too. Let's take this map and go across the Great Lakes into New England. So as we get into late Thursday through Friday and early Saturday morning, we're spreading snowfall across the area. So we have Birmingham, Saratoga Springs, there's Plattsburgh, Watertown, we have a bullseye within that area, kind of surrounding that area, and that bullseye is coming close to about 15 to 18 inches. So a lot of snowfall there as you go north of New York and move your way throughout the New England state. So quite a bit of water in the form of snowfall coming our way to wrap up the week. Same storm system that's producing the severe weather down south. It's all one system, quite a big one at that worried about travel you probably can already assume we may have delays down across the south due to severe thunderstorms as far as longer term delays 
Watch out over the northern plains, still in the Dakotas, still in the upper Midwest. Travel delays growing as we wrap up the week in New England. The delays that we'll have on the map here, some of this is moving into major to extreme winter storm severity territory. That means lasting delays for air travelers as well as road travelers coming our way to wrap up this week and get into the next weekend. Obviously, next week's a big one for travel as we get ready for Christmas. We'll be updating the winter storm severity and travel impact as we get closer to Christmas. But for right now, let's talk about the cold for next week and who may be the snowiest. White Christmas on the way. So for next week, leading our way into Christmas, very cold. Focus on the blue here. It goes all the way down into Mexico and over the Gulf of Mexico we have a lot of cold, much below normal temperatures on the way from the 21st through the 27th of December. As far as snowfall, areas of heavy snowfall in the Cascades and the Northern Rockies, that'll be from about the 21st, 22nd, 23rd through the 27th. And then over here, covering much of New England into the Great Lakes from about Detroit and Upper Midwest out toward New England, an area of potential heavy snowfall from the 22nd through the 25th. So you can imagine the travel impact that may be possible as we look at Christmas. Let's dissect this a little bit more first off with temperatures. Let's watch this animation of temperature anomalies. So colder areas, warmer areas. Warm in the warm shades, there's the cold. I'll call out the days for you. We're looking at this weekend. So Saturday the 17th into Sunday the 18th. And cold begins to develop there in sections of British Columbia into Alberta, Saskatchewan, and that cold will sink down along the Rockies into Montana, Wyoming, the Dakotas, Nebraska, into Colorado and Kansas. Now we're looking at Thursday the 22nd, Friday the 23rd. Look at that cold stretching down across the country all the way into the deep south. Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, a bullseye of cold everywhere east of the Rocky Mountains covering the rest of the country will be colder than normal temperatures for Christmas and that cold does last between Christmas and New Year's. The difference is warming conditions across the West from Christmas Eve into Christmas Day and the week that follows. But watch again, watch this area in here as we'll be developing cold air and a lot of it. And it will be coming driving its way south next week. And that's certainly gonna carry some travel impacts with it as well. We're gonna drop some snowfall, create some icy areas and keep snow on the ground with cold like this. Right in there, that's the cold. And it's focusing on next Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. And it's a long way out there. We have days to get there, but this is early Thursday morning, Thursday the 22nd. And these are the temperatures for the Northern Plains. So Nebraska, South Dakota, North Dakota, into Montana, sections of Minnesota. We're looking at some temperatures here, minus 20 and colder for those temperatures that morning. Into Colorado, Kansas, Missouri, Illinois, sections of Wisconsin, single digit temperatures both above and below zero. You look down in New Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, we're seeing some lows in the 20s and 30s. So freezing conditions possible across the south that morning. That's an example of some of the cold that is on the way. And I mentioned as that cold comes in, there will be some areas of snowfall. Snow may cover most of the Pacific Northwest for around Christmas weekend. Snow may go all the way down into Mexico by Christmas weekend and spreading snowfall heavier across New England. This is just looking at Christmas weekend, kind of a three day snowfall total. So it includes Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and Monday morning. We're looking at this kind of additional snow just over that Christmas weekend. That's going to lead to icing conditions for travelers due to how cold things are also going to be. Keep that in mind. So bottom line here, who may see a white Christmas? We're looking at that now. Between now and the day after Christmas, so Monday the 26th, what's the snow depth looking like? snow cover a lot of areas across the west obviously into the rockies will have a white christmas but we may sneak a white christmas into parts of arizona new mexico texas across the south kind of cutting the southern states in half if you will but certainly snowpack snow depth going to be a white christmas for the dakotas minnesota into wisconsin perhaps sections of iowa nebraska and perhaps even around northeastern colorado so a white christmas 
may be one of the widest in recent memory, and it's certainly going to be a downright cold week leading into Christmas. Travelers, beware. I think it's going to be a very busy week, air-wise, road-wise, for travelers trying to get home for Christmas. That's today's Daily Shower. I'm Matt Makins. We'll see you the next time.